Hey, welcome to RC Arsenal. I'm pretty excited. We've got the Slash 4x4 Platinum Edition. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that I recently came across a pretty good sized outdoor track, dirt track. Pretty stoked about that. Um, I've never had a uh, truck to necessarily race on track, so I was kind of excited. I did some questioning, and unfortunately, I come to find out they don't have a whole lot of sanctioned races, so to say. Basically, people just show up, um, you know, the, the track's well maintained. Um, people just kind of show up in groups and they just run and get together and race, but uh, no one's going through all the formalities of making it a big event. Uh, I guess at one point in time the track did have that, but either way there's a lot of involvement at the track, so it's a cool thing. So I was wanting to get a truck to run on the track. Now I did some questioning, asking some folks. Um, I wasn't sh quite sure what to get. I asked about the low seas of Team Associated, so don't be hating on it. Um, I'm not talking crap on it, I'm just... From what I heard, and uh, yeah, they could just all be opinions, but they said, uh, of course, you know, like the low season team associated, those are probably all around just a better racing truck, but from what I was hearing, uh, you would end up putting a little more money into them. Um, now, one thing about the Traxxas models that I've always liked, they're typically fairly durable, so I am kind of a fan of that. Um, and in like two and a half years, I'll be moving, and I'm not even going to be near this track, so there's nothing that I can do. Awesome. That is a battery that is finishing its charge, so I'm pretty stoked. So anyway, yeah, the Slash 4x4 Platinum Edition. Um, what's different between the Platinum Edition and the Ultimate? The Ultimate will come with a battery, it'll come with a charger, uh, receiver, controller, etc. This one, uh, yeah, doesn't come with a battery, doesn't come with a receiver, you know, no charger. Basically, you get your own receiver, put it in, which is cool, and, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, one cool thing about this, uh, it does come with the aluminum C-hubs, steering blocks, aluminum rear hub carriers, aluminum wheel nuts, which, whatever, not a big deal. The GTR shocks, which are definitely much better, I do like those. Front and rear sway bars, and uh, you know, of course comes with a clear body. Tires are fairly decent, decent compound. Now one nice thing about the LCG, or lower center gravity if you're not sure, basically the motor, the electronics are about an inch below the drive shaft. Um, for all you non-American folks, 26 millimeters, it says. So, yes, it is a little bit lower and it uh, should handle a lot better. So, yeah, let's get this thing out of the box and check her out. Hey, speed up, I took off the cellophane, so let's get going on this thing. Um, hopefully, um, like most Traxxas models, you get a bunch of good stuff with it. Oh, there she is. It's always enjoyable. I don't know why it is. It's always fun taking things out. Um, nice big parts bag, and that's what we'll get there. Alright, let's see what we got in here in the parts bag. I cut myself with a razor blade here. It's about to happen. Okay. So. Nice, the front and rear sway bars. It's gonna be nice for handling. Look at that, some extra spur gears, some extra body clips, some self-adhesive foam strips for your battery, uh, depending on what size you're running. That's pretty nice. Thanks, Traxxas. We got a different pinion gear. Not positive on the size of that, that's pretty cool. Eh, it's got the part numbers on it. Uh, I can't quickly and easily readily identify it, but that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, typically with most tracks this models, you get some tools. Uh, actually, uh, of all the RCs I've ever got, I've never seen this many tools in there, but uh, I see three different size Allen wrenches, a couple of uh, different wrenches in general. These will be for some drive shafts, of course, for your wheel hubs and whatnot. So. Thanks, Traxxas. Decent tools. Oh, wow, here's a whole nother differential. Now it's got a differential in there, so that's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out, see what's up with that. That's kind of cool to get another differential. Uh, your typical manual, what to do if uh, stuff breaks. Hopefully, none breaks. Um, here's your sticker layout. Uh, as you know, the body's clear. Those, uh, what you put over your windows if you're going to paint it, do whatever you want. Uh, Traxxas loves to give stickers. They want you to advertise for them. They give you all kinds of stickers. 
there's some more for your typical body. Some numbers you want to get carried away. All kinds of stickers. Uh, another book. This would be like your uh, quick start guide. Not too bad, just a bunch of general info. Uh, getting a Traxxas charger? Yeah, I don't think so. That's not happening. And just some warranty junk. So, yeah, there we go. So there's that. Ah, uh, yeah, look at this thing. Wow, she's pretty durable. So, like most Traxxas models, uh, or probably any model or RC in general, when they ship them, your suspension collars are probably going to be all the way down because it's just sitting in a box. Who knows how long it's going to be in a box, right? Um, another thing I do know, usually on a big fan of the Traxxas bodies, they are fairly thin. It's probably going to crack uh, once it's painted, probably reinforce it. But um, yeah, they're not bad. I just wish they were a little stronger. So yeah. I mean, just feeling it up front, it does seem, you know, of course there's no battery in there, but it uh, seems fairly centered for the balance weight. Um, I'm not a fan of the Traxxas battery clip. I will be changing it over to a Dean's. Um, but it has some good looking, uh, good looking build to it. The shocks look pretty tough. It's nice that those are metal. Um, you know, I do know the uh, steering servo is waterproof. Um, it's not a metal geared servo, so I guess we'll, I'm just going to run until it breaks. When it breaks, we'll upgrade that, probably do a save box. And we'll get the brush list, the drive shaft looks metal. I can definitely tell that the battery does sit lower than the drive shaft in the model. That's pretty cool. Looks like an aluminum drive shaft. Um, all in all, it looks, it actually looks pretty darn tough. Of course, these slashes are known for their durability, so that is another reason why I kind of went with this thing. Tire compound seems fairly soft, so it should get some good traction. Uh, they do seem pretty hard, though. Just first impressions of that. Um, yeah, I mean, these slashes have been around forever, so I'm kind of looking forward to trying out this LCG and see what it can do on the track. And of course, I'll probably have this thing for who knows years and years and bash and beat the crap out of it. But um, my impressions at this point, <coughs> I'm not going to replace anything on this thing until it breaks. I'm just going to run it stock, and when things break, then I'm going to replace them. That's kind of my game plan, just to kind of put it through the ringer and see how tough it is. So, yeah. So thanks for checking it out. Come on back to the channel. Obviously, there's going to be more vids of this thing running. I'm going to get it on the track eventually, and of course, yeah. I'm probably just going to beat the crap out of it. So, yeah, come on back to the channel, check out vids of this, as well as other Traxxas models, some other Axial models, airplanes, drones, helicopters, whatever. Boat. Yeah, there's a boat in there. So, yeah, come on back, check it out, and uh, thanks for watching.